If you have no money in Switzerland, then the Swissies will treat you like garbage and apply their silent laws of their subhuman ideologies on you and your family and even go as far as torturing you to get at least some benefit out of you. Whereas if you have loads of money as Michael Khodorkovsky, the pharaoh thief from Russia, then the Swissies are pleased to let you, to let you, because they'll know that through taxes on Khodorkovsky's fortune and residential obligations, the Swiss will get a big chunk out of this Russian money, which actually belongs to the Russian people. Now, why do you think it shows the Swiss soldier from the Second World War here? You know, to remind us of the Swiss Nazi gold and all this, hey? Why do you think they show this? Uh, it says, well, we do just in World War II, we protect all the stolen money. That's why they show it in the same website. Do you get it? Well, it looks like, uh, what's his name? Of the Star Wars, look at the helmet, you know, like this, the Darth Vader. This is the Darth Vader helmet. Disgusting. You can read it all, just punch, pause. You can read it all about Swiss crime against us, the people. This is the base of the pharaohs, Octagon. And through his immense fortune, Mr. Kolokovsky will have a status in Switzerland, allowing him to stand above all international laws and agreements, even allowing him to rape our small children. Just as the, uh, the other pedophile and child rapist, Roman Polanski, also living in Switzerland and protected by the Swiss police and Justice Department, where Polanski, Justice Khodorkovsky and all the other skis has expressed his gratitude to the Swiss Justice Department. Some people say that Khodorkovsky is a Zionist, whereas the definition of a Zionist is someone who wants to go to Israel. But he doesn't. The guy doesn't want to live in Israel. So by definition, he can't be a Zionist. I tell you what he is. This is a pharaoh. And that's why the other Jimmy Savile child molester organization called the BBC deliberately shows their worldwide community of the enemy within. To whom Khodorkovsky really belongs. So the obeying masons of the Swiss judiciary leave him alone and assist him in all eventualities. Therefore the Sun hieroglyph is shown next to the Khodorkovsky's head in this lodge of the fair aristocracy where his, this bold organization of crooks tries to place him at the side of the people by having him say that he will help all political prisoners. He's going to do shit for political prisoners and us the people, I tell you. This guy robbed the people. Nothing else is a sly psyop to insinuate he will help the underdog. Slimeball.